Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a super cool tool called Todoist to help you manage your email box, your life, your to-do list, the whole nine yards. So as you can see right here, <clears throat> I have a couple different um, things that I, I download into my Outlook, and I have listed out the tools you need to really make this work together seamlessly in an absolutely beautiful way. So there's three things that you're going to need in order to really make the most of this tool. The first is going to be Todoist. The second one is going to be Microsoft Outlook. And the third is going to be integrating those into IFTTT. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all of that in this video. So here's how I kind of manage my email box to eliminate a lot of the email overwhelm. So what you can see right here is I have about 1,100 emails to get through, and that's just in one day. That That's in a less than 24-hour time span. So yeah, I do get a lot of email every single day. So the way that I go through this and I manage it is, you know, I, I look and see, okay, what's mission critical, what's important, right? So let's say that I wanted to mark this email right here as a mission critical item. What I'm going to do is go up here and hit the create task button and it's going to mark it as something I need to do today. Now the cool thing is you can use Todoist to add it to specific projects that you're working on um, and I'm going to go through this in just a minute but you can also label it um, you know and and that way you can search your Todoist via labels and then set reminders for yourself that mine pop up both on my phone and then it also emails me a reminder which is pretty cool but you can also set the priority so you have you know priority one two three and four on here so if this isn't really a high priority item but it's something I know I need to get through uh, get to today I can mark this right and even add some comments to it so I mean th this tool is like super duper powerful and for it being a free tool is something I highly recommend that you you take a look at so I'm gonna say add task right so it's gonna say okay here I've added the task so now when I'm in my Todoist app all I have to do is click on this task and guess what it pulls up the full email for me so that I can respond to it and get to it that way now the nice thing is like let's say I don't have time to get to it today I need to postpone it it's gonna give me options like based on how many tasks I have every single day and what I'm able to get through every day it's gonna give me a suggested date it's gonna let me move it to today postpone it to tomorrow move it to next week which automatically defaults it to a Monday and then give me more options so if I wanted to put it on a specific day I could do that so for the sake of this example what I'm gonna do just postpone it until tomorrow okay so now we're gonna open up our to-do to do is app which is something you can download for Windows and Mac so right here you can see today which is Wednesday September 6th I completed 40 tasks and I you know tweeted that out like you know yay I did 40 tasks right so here I have my full to-do list for tomorrow and yeah it's it's long I'm, I'm a busy girl but that's okay so the the really cool thing about this is it tells me you know is it in my inbox is it a goal is it a specific project is it personal um, you know and then I have my emails down here as well that I you know are, that are kind of important but not like super duper important and then I also have my um, Google Calendar synced up with my Todoist so that when I have, you know, different appointments or different things, I have that that I can mark off on my Todoist as well. One of the reasons I really love this tool is it allows me to really drill down and track my productivity. So, you know, whatever it is I'm doing, it's going to give me different points. Um, and in this case, it gives me like, you know, different karma points. But I can go through here and I can look at all of my different projects that I have and how many pending tasks are there for each project. And then I can even add, like, let's say I wanted to, you know, add something to it. So something to do is what I'm going to say right here. And then 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a project and I'm going to add that task right there. Now here's something else that's pretty cool. So let's say you have these things and you see how like you have different tasks that are on here and they're assigned to different people, right? So you can share your entire Todoist file or a to entire Todoist thing with a client or, you know, with a team member or whatever so that you guys can also go through together and, and really collaborate on different projects. So, you know, if I'm going to look at the thing that I just added today, right, I'm going to say I want to assign it to a person. I'm going to assign it to John. And then what I can do here is also add a comment. So if I want to collaborate with him on this project, I can say, okay, I'm going to add a file, right, from my computer, my Dropbox, or my Google Drive. I can add a voice note, which is super cool. So, you know, if I want to say, hey, I want to save some time and I'm going to add a voice note to this collaboration or whatever, I can do that. And then I can add, you know, different emoticons as well. But it's also going to give me an option to notify whoever I'm tasking in this about, you know, what I've added with the comment. So it really allows for collaboration on the most grand of scales because what this will do is it emails John every time I'm making a new comment on a task or on something that's due you know, on a specific day. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, and I, I have mine synced up with the IFTTT app as well as Alexa and things like that so that I can go through and actually add things or, you know, move things around as I need to throughout my day and stay super organized while I do it. So it just makes a heck of a lot of sense. And then you get different notifications just like you would, you know, on Facebook or a social network where, you know, somebody else is giving you, you know, notes on something that you've sent them or something that you've assigned to them. So the, <clears throat> the super cool thing is you can sync this between your phone, your tablet, your laptop, wherever. So Todoist goes with me wherever I go. And, you know, I have the premium account. I pay $4.99 for it per year which makes a heck of a lot of sense for me. Um, you know, and you can view an activity log. So it shows you what's been done, um, you know, on any specific task, on any specific project, so that, you know, you can really drill down and track that productivity of yours so that you're able to be a heck of a lot more productive as well. Um, you know, they, they have all the links to the apps here, Android, iPhone, uh, Windows app, which is what I'm in right now. But you simply just go here and it says, you know, to do here's, here's all of your stuff. You can access it online via the web. You can do email plugins both for Outlook and Gmail. So if you're using a Gmail interface, you can utilize that as well. You've got, uh, Chrome extensions, uh, Safari and Firefox. So you can add things, you know, just, just like you would to your Evernote, for example. You can add things via your Todoist as well. So the, you know, really cool thing about this is it's super easy to use. Um, you know, the, the basic is free. So you can see right here what you get. 80 active projects, five people per project. Um, you know, what you don't get are the task labels and reminders, adding tasks via email, things like that. So I subscribe to, you know, this right here, which is the Todoist for Teams, but for $28 a year, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, and it it really does make a huge difference in my business and, and my ability to really get things done, which is the whole idea, right? So, you know, all you have to do is go to this link. Of course, I'll post the link in the video uh, comments as well so that you can really get in and say, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to try this out, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how I integrated my Todoist with IFTTT to really automate my life. And IFTTT is if this, then that. So it's, it's just kind of a programming uh, gizmo that I use that I like quite a bit. So I'm going to show you that. 
So now I'm going to show you how to integrate your Todoist with IFTTT, which again is if this, then that. So basically, if you, something happens, then you're going to do something with it. And it's really cool because they have a lot of pre-programmed applets that you can use. And I'm going to show you how I use those. So this is just a peek inside my IFTTT dashboard and the applets that I'm using. So I have a lot of different things that I use to automate um, pretty much every single bit of our business. So I get my weather reports automatically on my calendar. Um, these are, you know, all the things that I have turned on and turned off. Um, you know, you can view all of your tasks from Todoist and Evernote, for example. I also use Evernote quite a bit. But as you can see, I have a lot of things automated to Facebook, to Instagram. Um, I automatically turned my Google Calendar events into Todoist tasks. I have a weekly planning task. So what this does is it just tells me what my priorities are for the week. Now I can turn it on or off as needed. And then, you know, you have all of these different things here where you get a summary email of all the tasks you completed in a week. Um, you know, you can make a new task via IFTTT. I even can do it via Alexa. And then turn my uh, Google Calendar events into to do with tasks, which is pretty cool. So you can even search, for the sake of this video, things that are specific to Todoist. So you can say automatically create Google Calendar events for new Todoist tasks. So if you have certain things on your Todoist that you want to set up and say, hey, this is due on you know such and such date or we're going to start this project on such and such date, you can put that into your calendar. Um, you know, and, and you can even tell it to remind you to bring an umbrella if it's going to rain. You can use Siri to create Todoist reminders. There's literally no end um, to the things that you can add to your Todoist. So like, you know, I use MindMeister as well, um, you know, and there's just tons of different ways that you can integrate this to automate your life and to make it a heck of a lot easier. So to recap really quickly, what you need for this will be Microsoft Outlook, um, in order to get the most out of it, Microsoft Outlook or your Gmail. Uh, that you can access via the web. You will need to do it. You can use the free version or you can do what I do and use the paid version. And then use using IFTTT to kind of pull it all together and automate a bunch of things in your life. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please show us some love and let us know. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. We're always happy to answer those. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.